Right now, what they're doing with the truck is, is putting some leverage against the gate because there's so many people here that they're starting to put too much force on it and they don't want the chain to be busted. It's been an incredible journey here in Honduras. It's a service that a lot of people don't have access to, so it's been really wonderful to have that experience, to work directly with the people, and also to link them up with resources for additional care once we're gone. I think it's been great. I think it's been an experience with, that I'll take with me for the rest of my life. Just being able to meet these great people and to help them in, in a small way, um, it's just it's been wonderful. I think we did something good for these people. I think we brought care to people who, uh, who needed it and we uh, Got them, gave them a chance to have uh, to see a different side of medicine from us, and uh, a chance to uh, partner along with the with the host nation to take care of their of their of their populace. As a pastor, human being. Honduras is beautiful, but the thing that struck me the most is when we first pulled up uh, 10 days ago, the coastline. The coastline was, was amazing. It's just uh, with the, the beach right in front and the mountains right behind it, it was very picturesque. Agradecer profundamente en nombre del gobierno de Honduras, en nombre del presidente Juan Orlando Hernández, en nombre de todo el pueblo, por este gran gesto de solidaridad donde han venido a apoyar la salud de nuestros compatriotas en Puerto Cortés. Muchísimas gracias y les esperamos pronto.